Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. Let's make a fast holographic style city. The first thing we'll do is create the initial look of our hologram. For the purpose of this video, I'll keep it simple. There's a link to a much more complex one in the link above if you want. Let's use the default cube like an old friend and go into the shading workspace. Turn on render mode, and in this case, Eevee, turn on bloom, and let's delete the default shader. Then add in a mix shader and plug it into the surface of the material output node. Then let's create an emission shader and a transparent shader, and plug the transparent into the bottom of the mix shader and emission into the top of the mix shader. Now change emission to blue and up the strength of it. Watch it glow. Now lay down a layered weight node and plug facing into factor of the mix shader. This will control the mix of the shader based on what angle the geometry is facing the camera. To make this effect work, we need to go into the materials tab under settings, blend mode, and set it to alpha blend. Now we have hollow. Play with the blend value on the layer weight node and watch the effect get better and better. Mine is at 0.9. Let's change the background to black and make it look cooler. We can play endlessly with the intensity of the bloom effect and totally waste our time. We can even waste more time by doing this while looking through our camera. We can even render it to see how it looks at this early stage, which is totally worth it. How about we name the material hologram to be neat? Then hit the shield thingy to make a fake user. This will finally let us delete the cube and bring in the thing you clicked on this video to see. I'm gonna save this file. Here's the cool part that I got from Nico16. I'm linking to that video in the description because he explains this way better than I am, and he should definitely get some love, as in like more subscribers, hint hint. This video is not about that, but you'll see how cool it is. Go to GitHub and grab the GIS plugin from there. The link will be in the description. I can't promise that it'll work in every country on Earth, and it uses libraries that are Creative Commons, public domain, and attribution required. So if you use it commercially for anything other than just grabbing some simple extrusions like we're going to do here, be aware of that. I'm linking to the OpenStreetMap copyright page in the description as required by their Creative Commons license. Now download the zip file from the site and save it somewhere that you remember. Then go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons and click Install. Locate it on your drive and hit Accept. Then go to the search bar and type in GIS. There it is. Click it and you're good. The only thing we need to do here is go to the preferences by expanding that little arrow and choosing a cache folder. It won't work if you don't do this, so yeah, do this. Now GIS appears like magic in your menu. Hit it, then go to Web Geodata and hit OK. Blender turns into a Google map. Zoom into any major city. I'm choosing LA because it's my home. When there, I hit spacebar to access my menus again, and I choose GIS, Web Geodata, and get OSM. Choose just buildings and hit OK. Now we have a cityscape. We can delete the image plane of the city itself because all we need here are the buildings. Look at that. Wow. It's also huge. So let's scale it down by 0.01. Now zoom in and change the clipping plane start and end to 0.1 and like 10,000 something respectively. That will allow us to see our smaller city without the camera clipping. Grab the camera too and move it back to 000. zero, zero. All right, now we scoot around enough. Let's add the hologram shader to our city and ooh, what crap. Let's waste some time with bloom and stuff and make this tolerable. Now we get cool by selecting our city and going to the modifier tab and choosing wireframe. Look at the lights. Just kidding, it's, it's crap. Make the wire thickness like one or something and now it looks better. You can leave it here and it's Tron, but we can do better. Turn off replace original. Thickness is now two, better. We can now go and add in another shader in the materials tab of the city object by hitting the plus icon, then hit new. Now, remember a long, long time ago when we created that second material? Let's go to the wireframe modifier and turn material offset to one. Ooh, now the wires are a different material. Change the name to wires and play with the shader a bit. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Find a happy place and animate this thing. Oh, I need to change the Wilshire building to look better because it doesn't look like that in real life. I think we're missing the Wilshire Grant too, and the buildings are very low resolution, but like, whatever. This is a demonstration video, so feel free to use better models in your own stuff. You can also change the shader and add all sorts of stuff to make it cooler like I'm doing here. I'll be adding all these files to my new Patreon soon, like files for every video I've ever done. I've set it to super cheap right now if you want in. If not, I also have a cool book you can download and get on a mailing list, and I can let you know when everything is all up and ready if you want. That's in the description too. That way I could quit my oppressive job and afford to do this full time for you guys. That means like stupid amounts of new content daily. So now go forth, be excellent to each other and party on. See you later.